Hello everyone, it is 8.55, 34 degrees on your Thursday, January the 2nd, talking to Marty Bass about the weather. You see that steam plume going yeah. straight up? Winds are calm. A few high clouds now, but take a look. We will have some more clouds coming in later on. Overcast by dinner, a high of 52, 10 above normal. Tonight, it's going to be wet at times, but mild. Look at that 45. That is above your normal daytime high. Take it away, Tim. Thank you, Marty. Police are looking for a truck they say was involved in a hit and run accident in Towson. Mike Shue has the latest. Good morning. It happened at this busy seven lane intersection. Police say a man was walking along Delaney Valley at 730 on New Year's Eve when he was hit at Fairmont. Police believe that this is the truck that struck the man, then drove away. The victim is hospitalized in critical condition. The truck may be damaged. Police hope that someone calls them with a tip as to its location. I'm Mike Shue reporting in Towson for WJZ. A significant change goes into effect in Baltimore. The city will no longer be allowed to prevent anyone who has won a settlement against the city from speaking about that settlement. The city council passed that bill that allows people to speak about the details of their settlements. Maryland's minimum wage is now $11 an hour. Employees of bigger companies will see the minimum wage hit $15 an hour by 2025. Several other new laws are now in effect in the new year. New examples include authorities are required to test rape kits and insurance companies can no longer hike premiums or cancel policies because someone is an organ donor. We invite you to stay with WJZ. Of course, we'll be back at noon with all of your updates for news, sports and weather. Have a great January 2nd.